to demonstrate formatting of uh, uh, messages that we are sending to the Slack uh, user or channel from N8N workflow. I'll just create a simple workflow and um, I'm going to add a chat. Chat as a trigger. And uh, from this chat, let's just test it. Hello and send and it's triggered. Then I'll also link a Slack channel here for the testing purpose. So I'll just search for Slack and uh, under Slack I want to send a message and um, I already have a credential here so if you don't know how to do that I have the video in the channel. I'll, uh, I'll link uh, the URL in the description of this video. So I want to send a message to the channel and I'll go ahead and uh, select my channel. So let me just use uh, finance and then the message is supposed to come from uh, this data here. So I'll go ahead and uh, drag it and drop there. And you have to make it an expression for it to work. Yeah. Let me just make the JSON. Then I'll drag the JSON. So chat input. So you can execute this just to test it. And I'll go back to my channel. So we have finance and there is a hello message being delivered. So there are cases where you, we want to make this maybe a bullet point or we want to make it uh, um, bold or we want to make it uh, italic or we want to underline. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just come to Slack and just uh, close this because our channel is already connected. So I'll go ahead and uh, let's start with bolding the text. Uh, for bolding, you pass your text in between the asterisks, two asterisks or two stars. Let's say this is the title. like that then I'll just uh, enter so that is going to automatically send the message which is not achieving the purpose of this so if I go back to the channel you will not be able to differentiate okay you're able to differentiate this from this it's actually bolder let's uh, try um, italic. So for the italic, you just pass your text uh, in between the underscores. So go back and uh, I'll start with an underscore and I'll say this is an italic. Italic then you end with an uh, underscore. This is known as a Slack markdown. So if I send this message, it's uh, delivered. If I go back to my channel, you can see that this is uh, different from this other one. So it is an italic. Uh, the other thing we want to test is uh, the strike true. 
So I'll just come here and send a strike true message. So for the strike true, you use a, a back tick. So a back tick is the button that is above your tab key uh, in your Windows uh, uh, keyboard. So it's between tab key and the escape key on the top left of your keyboard, the top left of your keyboard. So it looks like a, a comma or apostrophe. So it's this and here. Like that. Then I can say this is a, a stripe true. What is the spelling? Strike strike true text like that then you close with the that back tick again and you send if you I go to my channel actually this was supposed to be a code I think I messed it up so the demonstration that I just gave is supposed to be a code. So for the strike true, you use the opposite of uh, back tick. So you shift and press the back tick. So let's just repeat that. And just uh, come here and type that. So the opposite of that is uh, back tick is uh, that. Uh, uh, symbol then call it this is a strike true like that then I close with the same a symbol so if I send this it's executed go back to slack this is how it looks like so we have done the code I'm not going to do the code now um the other formatting that i want is a block quote so after doing all this we are going to make a combination of all that to see a real like paragraph um let me do the block quote so go back um for the block quote you start your text with the two back ticks not two but three so like that just call it block quote then then you send it so it's executed so if i go back actually the block quote is not working okay i know why So it's supposed to be three back ticks. Don't put any space. Just say this is a lock. Watch like that. Uh, actually, I've misled you here. The block quote is supposed to be um, this left arrow, not left but right arrow, then your text. Let me just call it block to save on time, then send it. Then if I go to the channel, you can see that uh, this is a block displayed there then the others are just simple like if you want an ordered list it's simple as just uh, typing one and then uh, space you don't even need a space just one period then space and call it uh, item one maybe like that then send it and it's going to appear the same. 
see then if you want a bullet for the bullet you has an asterisk or a star but you don't close it with anything just put some space and call it maybe list item one like that and send it so if i go back to the channel okay 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 this is actually not uh, working i think we need to pass a tab because what i'm seeing here is a steric so let me go back and uh, fix that so i pass an asterisk and then i tab even tab is not working here I need to add a steric. It was working initially. Let me just call it text. Still not working. I expected something rounded here. Okay, we can stop there and do some research on how we can actually uh, do those other parts. So you can do research on your own. But um, I got this from this link. Let me just share the link here. And the link is... Uh, this so slack.com then dot i n uh, i n t l i'm also going to leave this link in the description of the video so that uh, you can easily access it so slack message formatting uh, the video is getting longer i don't want to spend so much time on this so it's upon you now to decide on the kind of the text maybe you want or format so i realize that here yeah, if you're writing text on the chat section and you press enter then it's going to uh, just send your message see so if you probably want to avoid that you will not use a chat uh, output or input for example if i edit this within the slack section for the message here you can uh, format your text the way you want i can just say um this is the title so let's start with the title which is uh just written like that it's bold then i'll just pass the normal text so i'll say this is my list in that then i'll press one then space list one then two space list two in that then i'll want maybe to test uh, the other part which is uh, italic i can pass the italic using the underscore and say that uh, welcome just like that then end with the italic then execute so this has been executed so if i go to my channel you find that uh, there's a new now block which is uh, formatted in like that so that is it for this uh, video see you in the next uh, video